Hey everybody, what's happening? It's Tony from Martinet Farms. Um, I'm actually walking out to our fava beans. Uh, we've got a bunch of aphids on them. So aphids, if you don't know, they're a pest that they don't harm humans, but they definitely do harm plants. Um, but I've got an organic solution. You know, we don't spray chemicals or pesticides or anything like that on our produce. But what is acceptable is this. Check it out, ladybugs. Um, so just a real quick explanation of so ladybugs they're they're a, they're a predator type insect they love eating aphids and other little pesky bugs um, I'm actually gonna walk you over there and show you what the aphids look like um, but these ladybugs we put them out at night um, ladybugs at night they don't fly so if you put them in the target area where you want them to go they'll just hang out, try to look for food, hunker down, um, make sure there's still some water droplets from, you know, the watering that, that afternoon or what have you. And, um, and they're, they'll feel like, oh, this is a great place. There's, there's food all over the place. There's water. There's, oh, I love it. Um, and if they love it, then they'll likely lay their eggs there. And then the circle of life, um, sorry, my key was off there, but anyway, uh, then you now have a circle of ladybugs growing or, or uh, repopulating your area that needs to be cleansed. So Clarice, here we are at the fava beans. Um, you actually can't see any of the, the bugs, but you can see the damage. All this like black and eaten stuff. There were hundreds of aphids on our uh, fava beans. Uh, Andrea had actually came out here and just kind of like wiped them off by hand, um, which is effective, but you kind of miss some, and it's a little gross when you're squeezing little bugs in your fingers. But anyway, so that's why we're gonna bring out here, we're gonna, this night, we're gonna put little ladybugs out here so they have a wonderful playground for finding food. Um, we're also going to go out to our kale. We've got uh, five, five different varieties of kale. Um, we're gonna sprinkle some there, we're gonna sprinkle some with our lettuce, and uh, We'll check back in while I'll see you. I'll see you this evening. All right, so uh, it is nighttime now. Uh, not totally dark, but it's a perfect time to put the ladybugs in action. Um, their nature, as I was saying, at night, they don't really want to fly around. They want to find a safe spot to spend the night. So what better place than a place that has food and water and uh, a nice habitat for them? Okay, so here we are in our many shades of kale, uh, shades of green, if you will. Um, we're going to sprinkle a little bit on there and uh, see how they do. So yesterday I put those ladybugs out in the garden uh, with all the kale and some of the fava beans because we were having some aphids uh, attacking our fine produce. And uh, I just want to go check in and show you what's been going on. So remember, we put them out at night because putting them out at night, they don't want to fly around and get eaten by bats because let's face it, bats have this awesome radar system, right? Um, so we put them out in the field at night and they uh, hunker down and try to find some food. And let's see. Uh, it looks like I found one. Where our ladybugs' friends are, there they are protecting a little bit of leaf for us. There's another one over here, but it's protecting an invasive nightshade or something. 